know, when I left Brooklyn to go to school in Brockport, broadcasting was not on my mind. You know, the first two years, you can just kind of feel your way around before you got to declare a major. And um, I had always, uh, I'd always been somewhat, I was always up on news. And uh, growing up in New York City, you had the New York Times and the Daily News and the New York Post before it became a tabloid. So I, I said, you know, I, I like that. And I was good at writing. So I declared as a journalism major when I went up to Brockport. And uh, that same semester, for an elective, I signed up for intro to broadcasting. Well, for whatever reasons, you know, it just goes to show that the incredible difference an instructor can make, good or bad, in your life. The woman who was the instructor for journalism did just graded a lot of people, including not, you know, GR like a potato graded. Um, uh, she just, you know, was, was not a pleasant woman. And as such, and it was also, I said, there's a lot of writing going on here because no, you know, it was a typewriter was all you had. But at the same time, I had an instructor in the intro to broadcasting and he gave this passionate, motivational, inspirational talk about how if you're really interested in radio, you'll go down to the college station and get involved. And I did that afternoon. And only after a couple of years in the business that I realized said, this is what I was meant to do because of how I grew up in New York, listening to some of the great stations and the great personalities. And I guess subconsciously, you know, that, that stay with me because I used to hang on their every word. And, and it was, you know, there was this mystique about the guys or, or women on the radio. I never thought to call a radio station. I'd never expect I would ever see one in a supermarket or at a show unless they were introducing or something. So, um, it seemed like, all right, I was, I got on this path, maybe accidentally, but, uh, you know, subconsciously, I was probably, you know, choosing this. So, and I remember when, uh, when I got my first, you know, paid gig, it was in Geneva, New York, working overnights and playing music. I didn't necessarily listen to myself, you know, a lot of soft stuff and uh, Linda Ronstadt and Commodores and things, but I was getting paid to be on the radio. And then after that, it was like, all right, you know, let me at it. And uh, I just happened to find something early in my career, uh, working at CMF in Rochester. I'd worked at uh, the old Magic 92 for a little more than a year. And as time went by, I realized what a good you know, scene I had and what a good deal I had here, especially from a, a personal lifestyle standpoint. You put down roots, you get married, you have kids, and uh, you make a life here. And I, you know, some, there were some offers out there to go other places. And I just weighed the pros and cons and I chose quality of life, you know, a couple of times and I'm, I'll never regret that decision. You know, my life is here and uh, I couldn't be happier about that. And this is where I'll spend my retirement.